Hey y'all, welcome back to the Skookum Report. I have another great Bigfoot encounter story for you this evening. And this one comes from a young man in Alaska. He's a snowmobiler and he had a encounter in some deep snow near Potter, Alaska. Uh, this all happened in the winter of 2004 in February uh, in Anchorage County. And it was up near some power line clearings east of Potter Marsh in Anchorage. Um, he said it was in the middle of the night, in the middle of the woods, in a clearing covered in snow, with only some small shrubs and bushes sticking out of the snow. He goes on to say, Me and two of my friends were bored one night, so we decided to do a little snow machining. And though it was illegal uh, to snow machine in Anchorage, there were some really good trails to ride on a little north of my house, and the temptation was just too much. We took off probably around 11 p.m., and we went up the road about a quarter of a mile and cut off onto the trails there. It had snowed about 10 inches a few days before, so there was some fresh snow with no tracks, and it was perfect for what we wanted to ride in. I was leading the way for about a half hour, and then we stopped and we hung out for a little bit and talked. And then we took off again and just kept cruising on some sort of game trail that led to an opening in the woods. I rode off into the opening with my friends following about 50 yards behind me. And I came over this little mound and I saw these strange tracks leading to this spot in the snow where it looked like something had pushed the snow aside and laid down in it. I figured it was just a moose or something. But I followed the tracks over the next small hill, and as I came down the far side, my headlight pointed right on the back of a Bigfoot. It was only about 10 to 12 feet in front of me. I saw it perfectly clearly. It was running in the opposite direction. I slammed on the brakes because I was scared out of my mind, and it continued to run and it jumped over a dead log that was covered in snow, and then it disappeared into a group of trees into the darkness. Now, I was so surprised and scared, I quickly turned around and rode back towards my friends, and when I met them back at the first mound, I said, we need to get the hell out of here. And they just followed me back towards my house. Now, when we got back to my house, I told them about it, and they just laughed and told me it was probably a bear or someone in the woods. But I was 100% positive that what I had seen was not a bear or anything else for that matter. The way it was running through the deep snow made me sure that it wasn't anything human. And for a long time, I was made fun of and everyone told me I was crazy. So I really just didn't like even talking about it. Well, thank you for that encounter story. We appreciate it here at the Skookum Report. And if anybody you know, or if you yourself have had an encounter or a sighting, um, shoot me an email at skookumreport at gmail.com. That's skookumreport at gmail.com. And I'll be sure to get it up on the channel for you so everyone can hear it. I want to thank you for checking out the Skookum Report again, and I appreciate y'all. And I'll see you next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.